Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about marketing and business and branding and social media and so, so much more. So for this video, I was recently watching an interview with Russ, who's an American rapper. He's independent as well. And I was watching one of his interviews and he was talking about some of the things that he used to do when he was first coming up, when he was first like releasing music and stuff and how he would um, get a camera and go shoot the videos himself and all of this kind of stuff. It's something that I've been doing recently is shooting my own videos. So I was really interested when he started talking about that same thing. It kind of sparked this thought in me about the fact that it takes a certain type of person to be an entrepreneur. Once you start to understand the type of steps that you need to take in order to get from A to B in your business, if you want it badly enough, if you want it badly enough, you're going to take those steps. But I'm realising that there are some people that won't and it's not because it makes them a bad person or they're doing anything wrong, but I just realize now that there's a certain type of person that will be successful as an entrepreneur and then there's other people that just won't and it's not because they've done anything wrong or anything like that it's just purely because you have to be adaptable you have to be able to I mean you're building your own business like there's nobody else to rely on you have to rely on yourself it all falls on yourself and it's only you that's going to get you there so it's like not only do you have to have a full level of confidence in yourself and be able to take the action consistently like you need the confidence to then be able to take the action you also need to be adaptable to be able to flow with the changes and the ups and the downs and like when you fail in a certain area you're able to get back up and try again in a different way and adapt to things you know like it just takes such a strong minded or determined kind of person to be an entrepreneur so I wanted to put this video out there because I know so many people want to do it and sometimes when, like online it can look like it's easy it can look like it's so flowers and roses like just so straightforward or even if it looks complicated it can still look like everyone can do it and I know that everyone could do it if they wanted to but not everyone is willing and determined to do what it takes to make it happen if that makes sense and this is not a knock at anyone that's not going to do it because honestly like everybody could do it if they really wanted to but I just realized that if you're not determined if you are not willing to adapt and adjust if you're not willing to try different things and fail at them if you're not willing to fail then it's, it probably won't work. And also if you're not willing to sacrifice certain things, like the luxuries, especially at the start, it won't work because you have to be able to put your all in. Like you need to go 100% minimum to make it happen. And sometimes you have to sacrifice personal things in order to make it happen and this is not even in a negative sacrifice like when you make a um like a something a habit or a lifestyle it's because you want it it's something you enjoy so other people may perceive it as you missing out on certain things or sacrificing certain things but to you you're enjoying it because to you it's not necessarily a sacrifice because you're doing what you want to do, if that makes sense. So it just takes a certain type of person to be able to do it. And if you are not willing and if you are not enjoying it, if it doesn't spark inspiration in you, then it's probably not for you. And of course, for everyone, there's always going to be days where you feel low, you doubt yourself, you feel like you've failed and you're ready to kind of give up, you know, like no matter who you are, we all go through that. But if you're not committed to it and seeking ways to stand back up again, then it probably isn't for you because it is hard work. 
it does require sacrifice and it does require it becoming your lifestyle like it's literally a part of you and a part of your lifestyle and that's why I feel like the majority of people that want to start a business should really do it in something that they love like an industry or a thing that you love that you're passionate about otherwise you will burn out because it's exhausting and it can be long days it can be stressful and ups and downs and failures and mistakes and things you know like we're all learning as we go same with everything in life it's trial and error but if you don't love it if it doesn't excite you your vision for the future and your your dream goals if it doesn't excite you then it's probably not for you and maybe you're in the wrong industry like it doesn't mean you can't be an entrepreneur but maybe you're in the wrong industry or something you know and I just think self-awareness in those things is complete key because I mean there's a lot to it and you're essentially especially at the start usually you're just a one-man band like you're doing it all yourself and you have to wear so many hats and juggle so many things as well as have a personal life and take care of your health and work out and all of those kind of things so obviously it can be a lot and I also have made videos about hustle culture being dead so this is not about burning yourself into the ground this is not about hustling 24 7 or anything like that but it still requires focus and self-discipline because you don't have a boss, so you have to be the one that's going to motivate yourself to get up in the mornings and go do the tasks that you need to do. Because you're not always doing all of the fun tasks, you also have to do all of the annoying, stressful and boring tasks as well. So if you're not willing to do all of those things, then maybe you even need to hire somebody that can do those things for you. Or maybe you're in the wrong industry, or maybe it's just not for you and you need to try something different you know so yeah i hope this video was helpful and made sense thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you all links to my music my social media my phone number and elemental mirror my etsy store and so so much more is all in the description box below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week and i will see you in the next video bye you could say